People have been gathering at the Marathon finish line on Boylston Street to pay their respects. They've been doing it pretty much all day long. It is hallowed ground now, 26.2 miles from Hopkinton. Let's get to Christina Hager, who is live above Boylston Street in the Back Bay tonight. Christina. Lisa, we're at the Charles Mark Hotel, and we were here set up uh, for a live shot because it's a great view of the finish line. And just moments ago, we were watching the Norden brothers and their triumphant cross uh, at the finish after walking from Hopkinton this morning. And just as they were finishing up, I was on my way down to come do another live shot, and I was told I can't leave the hotel, get back inside. Suddenly, a lot of urgency. We heard voices yelling. And I just spoke with a couple of photographers. We have uh, Dave Graceffa and Chuck Manning, WBZ photographers, down at the ground level where they were operating uh, the camera, getting ready for, the, for our live shot. And they said that they saw a man wearing a sort of a dark black veil and a backpack. Uh, and he was behind the photo bridge. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see the view from here, but behind the photo bridge, we're looking at Copley and there's some police tape there. And uh, this is the, the area that police have now contained. This is where our photographers are telling me they saw this man acting kind of suspicious, yelling things, uh, chanting Boston strong. And he had a backpack and police uh, started suddenly started yelling, telling him to put the backpack down converging on him and then telling everyone to get out, to move out. Those photographers were moved out beyond the tape in the perimeter. And we were told again that we can't leave the hotel now. Everything seems to be in lockdown. And there are just a lot of, there are a lot of emergency vehicles here on Boylston Street as we look down and a lot of uncertainty. Uh, as you can imagine, a lot of people very nervous and, and uncomfortable as we wait to hear more about what's going on. Christina, quick question for you. Uh, there's nothing that makes you more uncomfortable right now than seeing this. You mentioned that police converged on this man. So he is in, he is with police right now as far as we know? Well, we're not sure because we were rushed out so fast. Um, it was Dave Graceffa and Chuck Manning, WBZ photographers who were down there. And I, and I also spoke with Chris Gobeal, another photographer who was shuttling some equipment back and forth uh, from our vehicle. And he noticed this man too, just because he was attracting attention. He was yelling things like Boston strong and he was uh, in a way that no one else was, kind of looking for attention perhaps. And uh, it was his, his outfit, I think, that, that made people notice him. He was wearing a long black veil. But we don't know where police took him, where he went, because everyone was whisked away so fast. And it's unclear whether, you know, how serious this is or if it's just the timing that police don't want to take any chances after what we've been through today. Well, I'm sure, they're, fact I'm sure they're factoring both of those things in, Christina. And I guess now we just have to wait because they'll have to, bomb units will have to come out and assess what they've got here, not to take any chances. Again, we'll continue to monitor the situation.